ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا وسيئات اعمالنا من يهدي الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحده وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والارحام ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما اما بعد فان اصدق الحديث كلام الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الامور محدثاتها وكل محدثه بدعه وكل بدعه ضلاله وكل ضلاله في النار اوصيكم ونفسي بتقوى الله اتقوا الله يا معشر المسلمين Fear Allah as you should be feared and dying of accepting a state of submission to the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Alhamdulillah, Allah has given us tawfiq to pray in the masjid, in jama'ah. Alhamdulillah. Today's topic is what is the way up for the current situation, the weakness. We will go back to the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and discuss three commandments or three recommendations which was given to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the time of Mecca, time of weakness. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala after giving the qissa the story of Ashab al-Kahf. He has commanded Rasulullah to recite وَأْلُ مَا أُوْحِيَ إِلَيْكَ مِنْ كِتَابِ رَبِّكَ لَا مُبَدِّلَ لِكَلِمَاتِهِ وَلَنْ تَجِدَ مِنْ دُونِهِ مُلْتَحَدًا واصبر نفسك مع الذين يدعون ربهم بالغداة والعشي يريدون وجهه ولا تعد عيناك عنهم تريد زينة الحياة الدنيا ولا تطع من أغفلنا قلبه واتبع هواه وكان أمره فرطا والآيات الله سبحانه وتعالى after talking about the tribulations the trials of Ashab al-Kahf, those youth who believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, إِنَّهُمْ فِدْيَةٌ آمَنُوا بِرَبِّهِمْ وَجِدْنَاهُمْ هُدَى They believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and as a result, Allah has given them guidance. وَرَبَطْنَا عَلَى خُلُوبِهِمْ اِتْقَارُمْ فَقَارُوا رَبُّنَا رَبُّ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ لَنْ نَدْعُوَ مِنْ دُونِهِ إِلَهَا they said to their people, Allah, Rabbuna Rabbu Samawati wal They pointed out something that people cannot deny. They said, Allah, Rabbuna, is Rabbu Samawati wal The one who created the heavens and the earth, no one can deny that. And we will not associate any partner with him with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we know the end of the story, what, we, what they went through, their people, the pressure, at the time of weakness. Now Rasulullah was told to read the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at the time of difficulty, time of weakness, to recite the book of Allah. Now what look, the word atilawa in Arabic, it does not mean just recite. It has many other meanings. And they all 
come together. You have to recite. The Quran means recitation. بالتجويد ورتيل القرآن ترتيلا تريد والتجويد من لم من لم يصحح القرآن آثما. We have to learn the Quran first of all. I in terms of recitation, we have to know how to read the Quran. That's number one. After learning, you have to have the dabbur. أَفَلَا يَتَدَبَّرُونَ الْقُرْآنَ أَمْ عَلَى قُلُوبٍ أَغْفَالُهَا Do they not ponder upon this Qur'an? كِتَابٌ أَنْزَلْنَاهُ مُبَارَكٌ لِيَدَّبَّرُوا آيَاتِهِ وَلِيَتَذَكَّرُوا أُولِ الْأَلْبَابِ كِتَاب that we have revealed, sent down for what reason? لِيَدَّبَّرُوا آيَاتِهِ So that they ponder upon the ayat of this kitab. So, we need to learn وَرَتِّلِ الْقُرْآنَ تَرْتِيلَ Tilawa means to recite and also it means تَدَبُّ to understand, to contemplate, uh, contemplate. It also means to follow. وَاتَّبِعُوا مَا أُنْزِلَ إِلَيْكُمْ مِنْ رَبِّكُمْ وَلَا تَتَّبِعُوا مِنْ دُونِهِ أَوْلِيَاءِ Follow what Allah has revealed to you and do not follow any other ways. So we have to follow the Qur'an. So when we say وَاتْلُوا when Allah says وَاتْلُوا He means to recite to have the dabbur, to understand, and to act upon it. Following is to act upon it. But the problem is, most of us, illa man rahim rabbi, we think of the Qur'an as something that we recite when someone dies, or maybe in Ramadan. We think of getting reward by reciting. Of course we will get reward. Allah will reward us for reciting the Quran. But every single letter that you recite, there is ashara hasana. Ten rewards. But the Quran is more than that. For reciting, you will be rewarded. For tadabbur, you will be rewarded. But ultimately, Allah wants you to follow. To act. To live. According to the Quran and the Sunnah, what do ma ruhiyyeh? Ma, the word ma, it encompasses everything. It means everything. Everything that Allah has revealed, follow it. Why? Because that's the success, brothers and sisters. That's the way out of every single difficulty. فَإِمَّا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَإِمَّا يَأْتِيَنَّكُمْ مِنِّي هُدًا فَمَنِ اتَّبَعَ هُدَايَ فَلَا يَضِلُّ وَلَا يَشْقَى When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent down Adam from Jannah, he was told to move out, go to earth, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said there will be guidance coming to your offspring, your children. Your children, i.e. me and you and the rest of mankind. Allah did not neglect us. He sent messenger after messenger. فَإِمَّا يَأْتِيَنَّكُمْ مِنِّي هُدًا فَمَنِ اتَّبَعَ هُدَايَ And whoever follows the guidance of Allah that's the messengers and the revelation they came with. فَمَنِ اتَّبَعَ هُدَايَ فَلَا يَضِلُّ وَلَا يَشْقَى The one who follows my guidance, he will not be misguided. Who's saying this? Al-Alim. Al-Hakim. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
you will never be misguided but with one condition follow the guidance فمن اتبع هدايا فلا يضل ولا يشقى he will not be misguided nor will he be deprived he won't be deprived in this world and he won't be deprived in hereafter so therefore recite the Quran the first advice or recommendation given by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to his messenger and to the followers of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa is to recite the Quran and we say to recite means to recite with tajweed, tartib and it also means to acknowledge, understand, learn and ultimately follow the rules of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala وَأَبْلُ مَا أُحِيَ إِلَيْكَ مِنْ كِتَابِ رَبِّكَ لَا مُبَدِّلَ لِكَلِمَاتِهِ Why? It's the ultimate guidance. Nothing can exchange the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The ultimate haqq. وَقُلِ الْحَقُّ مِنْ رَبِّكُمْ And haqq is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Al-haqq is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So therefore we have to follow the haqq. There is another benefit of following the Qur'an. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He tells us in the Qur'an, whoever follows the Qur'an, he will have hijab from those who disbelieve. From those who disbelieve. And the head of disbelievers is whom? Shaytan alayhi la'anullah. May Allah curse him. He is the head of evil. فَإِذَا قَرَأْتَ الْقُرْآنَ جَعَلْنَا بَيْنَكَ وَبَيْنَ الَّذِينَ لَا يُؤْمِنُونَ بِالْآخِرَةِ حِجَابًا مَسْتُورًا When you recite the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and when you follow the book of Allah, Allah will make a veil or hijab between you and those who disbelieve. What does that mean? It means the whisper of shaitan or the shubuhat, the lies that they create will not affect you because you know the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know the knowledge that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala given us from al-awwalina wal akhareen From those who were before and though what will happen inshaAllah in the future. It's everything is in the Quran. So Allah has given you that knowledge. Read the book of Allah. Therefore, if you read the shubuhat, the doubts that shaitan creates, it will not affect you. Is a protection from these evil things. May Allah protect us. What do you hear in the Kitab of the Kalam of the Kalimati? What do you hear in the Kitab Brothers and sisters, we will not find any security or amn. Or tranquility except by reciting the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by following the, uh, the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he gives iman iman kalimat iman when you hear iman it came from aman 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 means security Iman, Aman. So, La Amana Liman La Iman Allah. There is no security for the one who does not have Iman. If we mix our belief, our Iman, with some aspect or some sort of shirk, whether it's major or minor, 
there will be no security. And I'm not talking about the physical security that will be lifted, as we can see in today's world, due to the sins, due to the <coughs> shirk and disobedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, humanity are suffering. You see, death and destruction every day. Why? Because we have mixed our Iman with falsehood, whether it's minor or major, into different levels. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives Iman an aman for the amount of Iman you have. Now if you have 50%, you get 50%. So therefore, we have to increase the Iman and we have to clear our actions from shirk. الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَلَمْ يَلْبِسُوا إِيمَانَهُمْ بِظُلْمٍ أُولَٰئِكَ لَهُمُ الْأَمْنُ وَهُمْ مُهْتَدُونَ Those who believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they do not mix their Iman with polytheism, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has guaranteed he will be, they will be given aman. أُولَٰئِكَ لَهُمُ الْأَمْنُ they are the one who will have amun. وَهُمْ مُهْتَدُونَ And they are the guided ones. May Allah make us those who have iman and those who are dying. So it's very important that we have iman in order to receive, to get aman. And most important aman, it is the inner aman. You might be in a situation, in a difficult situation, but subhanallah, you have sakina and iman and tranquility. You might be guarded, bodyguards all around you, but you don't have a man. Subhanallah. You see, someone who has bodyguards, he's got anxiety, worries, panic attack, depressed, he can't sleep all night. He's got guards outside, but he can't sleep. Why? No security, the inner security. No one can give you. No one. Not the angels, not the doctors, not your mom, not your dad, not your wife, not your son, not your daughter. No one. Except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Therefore, the Quran is the way out. Recite the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Don't let any day that any day passes without reciting the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's a shifa. It's a cure. That is the first advice given to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi and his followers. وَأَتْلُ مَا أُحِيَ إِلَيْكَ مِنْ كِتَابِ رَبِّكَ لَا مُبَدِّلَ لِكَلِمَاتِهِ وَلَنْ تَجِدَ مِنْ دُونِهِ مُنْتَحَدًا the second advice وَاصْبِرْ نَفْسَكَ مَعَ الَّذِينَ يَدْعُونَ رَبَّهُمْ بِالْغَدَاةِ وَالْعَشِيمِ يُرِيدُونَ وَجْهَهُ وَلَا تَعْدُ عَيْنَاكَ عَنْهُمْ تُرِيدُ زِينَةَ الْحَيَاةِ الدُّنْيَا وَلَا تُطِعْ مَنْ أَغْفَلْنَا قَلْبَهُ وَاتَّبَعَ هَوَاهُ وَكَانَ أَمْرُهُ فُرُطًا عن وَاتَّبَعَ هَوَاهُ وَكَانَ أَمْرُهُ فُرُطًا وَاصْبِرْ نَفْسَكَ Be patient with whom, Ya Allah. Now that we have recited the book of Allah and we have tadabbur, we have understood and we started following the book of Allah. This deen is not deen of one person. It's deen of Ummah. You, you have to be around people. Who shall I hang around with? Allah will decide. We can't decide that. Therefore, in this verse, 
Allah is telling us we cannot take anyone as friend. Not as you wish, as Allah wishes, as Allah wills. You have to take the friend that pleases Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Not the one that, that pleases your desire. What's built? And you have to be patient with that friend. What is their quality? Their quality is they invoke Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala day and night. Allah Akbar. They remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala day and night. Their worry is the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When you sit with them, they remind you about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. These are the people, the group that you're supposed to be around. You hang around with such people. Very important. And why are they doing this? يَدْعُونَ رَبَّهُمْ بِالْغَدَاتِ they want to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. These people, they want to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, Al Marku ala dini khalili. The person is upon the religion of his friend. Let one of you choose or check whom he's been going to befriend with. Don't be with anyone. Because your sahib, your friend, your companion is either going to lead you to Jannah or Hellfire. You need to double check. Is this friend of mine, is he leading me to Jannah or Hellfire? What is the text he's sending me or what's, what's out? What is he reminding me? Dunya or Akhirah? If he is the one who's reminding you about Allah and his messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and hereafter, Stick with that friend. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, be patient with that friend. Things will only get harder. So we need to invest in our iman. Wallahi, what will keep you safe and firm is your iman. So invest in your iman. When the trials, difficult time comes, what will keep you together is your Iman. If you neglect your Iman now, if you are with the wrong crowd, you will regret. So before it's too late, be with those who would remind you about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and His Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And be patient with them. They will have shortcomings. Be patient. وَاصْبِرْ نَفْسَكَ مَعَ الَّذِينَ يَدْعُونَ رَبَّهُمْ بِالْغَدَاتِ وَالْعَشِيِّ يُرِيدُونَ وَجْهَهُ وَلَا تَعْدُ عَيْنَاكَ عَنْهُمْ تُرِيدُ زِينَةِ الْحَيَاةِ الدُّنْيَا And don't turn away from such people. Don't turn away while you are running after dunya. Don't sell them for the sake of dunya. Stick with them. وَلَا تَعْدُ عَيْنَاكَ عَنْهُمْ تُرِيدُ زِينَةِ الْحَيَاةِ الدُّنْيَا وَلَا تُطِعْ The third advice. وَلَا تُطِعْ and do not obey. Do not obey. Do not be with 
هم يا الله من أغفلنا قلبه عن ذكرنا the one whom we deprived his heart from the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the one who does not remember about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the one who is heedless about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala وَلَقَدْ ذَرَأْنَا لِجَهَنَّمَ كَثِيرًا مِنَ الْجِنِّ وَالْإِنْسِ لَهُمْ قُلُوبٌ لا يفقهون بها ولهم أعين لا يبصرون بها ولهم آذان لا يسمعون بها أولئك كالأنعام بل هم أضل وأولئك هم الغافلون ولا تطع من أغفلنا قلبه do not follow the one who is heedless about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah has given their qualities. In another verse, He said, We have prepared Jahannam, may Allah save us from the fire. Kathiran min al jinni wal ins. Many, kathir. Subhanallah. So the fire, the inhabitants, inhabitants of this system. Kathir Among us the jinn and mankind Min al-jinn wal-ins Why? Lahum qulubun la yathqahuna biha They have hearts But they are not people who understand When you speak to them They are hiddenness They are ignorant about their Lord they're ignorant, ignorant about the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. They're ignorant about hereafter. La yafqahuna biha. They are dead people walking. Death. The one who does not remember Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, he's dead. Spiritually dead. He might be moving physically, but spiritually he is dead. لَهُمْ قُلُوبٌ لَا يَفْقَهُونَ بِهَا He does not fulfill the purpose that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created for. To worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He does not worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَلَهُمْ أَعْيُنٌ لَا يُسْرِمُونَ بِهَا Sign after sign Allah shows them yet but they cannot see. They blinded with their desire. أَفَرَأَيْتَ مَنِ اتَّخَذَ إِلَهَا هُوَا The one who worships his desire. He follows his desire. لَهُمْ أَعِيُّمْ لَا يُسْرُونَ بِهَا They've got ears, but pointless. It doesn't help them to listen to the khayr. They don't give themselves chance to listen what is khayr. 24-7, they're busy with music. They wake up, they go to bed, probably even at work, they are always disconnected from the reality, listening to music. No chance. They deny themselves <coughs> guidance. They don't want guidance. Allah will give guidance to those who strive for guidance. Allah gives guidance for those who strive. Not anyone. The ones who deserve. وَالَّذِينَ جَاهَدُوا فِينَا لَنَعْدِيَنَّهُمْ سُبَلَنَا Those who strive in our way. Allah says, we will give them guidance. The one who has disconnected himself. Subhanallah. The one who lives for his shahwa, sexual desire, he has to fulfill his tummy, all he worries about is what to eat and fornication, that's what he thinks, all his life is that, subhanallah, may Allah save us from that. Very narrow life.
So don't be with those people. Don't obey them, don't follow them. Don't befriend them. لهم قلوب لا يس لا يفقهون بها ولهم أعين لا يبصرون بها ولهم آذان لا يسمعون بها أولئك كالأنعام. As Allah described, He said they are like أنعام the cattle. بل هم أضل. Nay, they are worse than animals because animals they fulfill the purpose that Allah created them for. But mankind, human beings, when they turn from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they don't fulfill, fulfill the purpose. They worse than animals. They are equal to animals in terms of feeding their desire, feeding their stomach, and thinking about their sexual desire. Thus they equal with the animal, but the rest they worse than the animal because animals they have they fulfilled their purpose. Mankind inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajiun. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala described this kind of group of people, he said, Ulaika humul ghafilun. They the heedless ones. Wala they the one whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Wala tuqi. Do not follow. من أغفلنا قلبه عن ذكرنا. The one who's heedless about the remembrance of Allah سبحانه وتعالى. أي his worry is not about the deen of Allah. He does not worry about the deen of Allah. ولا تطع من أغفلنا قلبه عن ذكرنا واتبع هواه. And he follows his desire. وكان أمره فرطا. And his affairs are all in loss. He has lost khasir dunya wal akhirah. He has lost this world and hereafter. May Allah save us. May Allah keep us firm. Brothers and sisters, we need to stick to the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he said, at the end of the time, there will be a lot of differences. Whoever lives will see all these differences. But what is the way out? He said, عَلَيْكُمْ بِسُنَّةِ وَسُنَّةِ الْخُلَفَاءِ الرَّاشِدِينَ الْمَهْدِيِينَ Upon you is my sunnah and the sunnah of Al-Khulafaa al-Rashidin, Abu Bakr, Umar, Uthman, the sunnah of the Sahaba, the way of life of the Sahaba, and their way of life was following the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. These are the people who followed the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha when she was asked the khulaf of, of, of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his character, 